To integrate your entity into inside the backrooms, you first need to have your character model. Next, you need to create a project in Unity using the 3D HRDP template. Give it a name and location, and then create project. Once your new project opens, you will need to import the ITB modder package in the assets folder, and import all the files. Now, import your character to the assets folder. For this example I will take a zombie model. First we need to render the materials. Select all, go to the edit tab, then rendering, materials, and finally convert all built in materials to HDRP. And proceed. Once this process is complete, place the prefab model in the scene. We select the model. And in Inspector, we click on Add Component. We look Entity Model Script and we add it. We click in Create. Select the character and the inspector will show the configuration of the mod. Reset the model position by right-clicking on Transform. And enable the gizmo view here. Perfect. Now we begin to modify the characteristics of the model. The script has two functions, basic and advanced. In this tutorial we will only cover the basic functions. We go to base settings and modify the option model radius. The yellow cylinder has to cover the body of your character in this way. You can take the feet as a reference. Now we modify the option model height. It corresponds to the height of the cylinder. It has to be the same height as your model. To know the real measurements of your character, you can use the show size reference option. It will show you an average scale model for reference. Alright, now we go to movement settings. The first two values, min idle time, and max idle time, is the time interval when the entity stops once it reaches your position. For this example, the value min idle time will be 5, and max idle time will be 10, this means that the entity will stop for 5 to 10 seconds. Walk speed is the meters per second that the entity walks. Run speed is the speed of pursuit towards the player. You can modify the speed of both options by guiding you through the alert below, you can compare it with the values that a player has. We go to Head Area Settings. The Vision Origin Point option represent the character's eyes. For this we select the model in the hierarchy, right-click and choose Create Empty. We rename the new object to Eyes to identify it. Position it at Eyes Height and drag it to Vision Origin Point. For Head Transform, we look in the Humanoid Rig for the head of your character, Select it and drag in Head Transform. In Head Size, modify the scale of the pink gizmo, it has to be the size of the model's head. It doesn't have to be precise. Tail Root Bone is optional. This applies if your model contains a tail bone. You have to drag the corresponding bone, similar to the previous step of the head. And modify their values. Let's go with the character animations. If you don't have them, you can search in the asset store or in another site of your choice. For this example I downloaded this package. Download it and click on Open in Unity. It will open the Package Manager. Select the package, Download, and hit Import. Close the window and look in Assets for the folder. You can review each animation by clicking it to open the preview. And finally drag the animations in each of its items. It should be noted that the run and walk animations must be in place. Here is an example. The grids do not have to move and the animation must keep its same position. In attack settings, min damage and max damage determine the amount of random damage can deal. Attack Area define the range of attack. And Attack Area Offset is the position of the attack range. 
Detection angle is the entity's field of view, represented by the blue cylinder. If a player is inside, he will start following you. Detection distance is used to widen or narrow your vision. If you also prefer that the entity be guided by sounds, such as footsteps while the player runs, or whistles, you must activate the Can Hear Sounds box. In audio settings, we must drag the sound clips that your entity will emit. If you don't have them, you can also search in the Asset Store. Max sound range, as it indicates, is the maximum range of the sound. Sound origin position should stay the same. Perfect. Now we go up to information. Place the name of your character, the author, and his description. In entity icon, we will upload the image of the character. To take a screenshot, we select main camera from the hierarchy. Center the camera on your character. Disable view of gizmos. Press on your keyboard, Ctrl plus Shift plus F, we return to Entity icon and press the icon from Screenshot button. Here we must place our Steam ID. If you don't have it, go to your Steam profile. Copy the URL, access your browser and look for Steam ID Finder. Enter the page of your choice. Paste your profile link and search for Steam ID 64. We copy and paste it in Author Steam ID. And finally, we go to the bottom and click on Export. Before doing so, we recommend saving your project. This window will appear, we click on Yes, and it will begin to export your entity. At the end, it will open the location of your exported model. You have to copy the folder with the name of the entity. We go to the path where inside the backrooms is installed. We go to the folder inside the backrooms data, streaming assets, mods, entities, and paste the folder. We open the game and check if the mod loaded correctly. We go to single player and in the modding tab, your character should already be there. Start a new game and check it out. Everything is okay. We must go to Workshop, Upload, and select the entity. Here you can modify the description, icon and tags of your entity. At the end we click on Upload. We wait for it to finish and that's it. Your entity is already up in the workshop. If you want to upgrade your character later, replace the entity's folder you placed in the game location. Open the game, go to workshop, then to upload, select your entity and click update. On the other hand, if you prefer to delete your model from this workshop, click on the delete option. Congratulations! You now know how to integrate your entities to inside the backrooms. Enjoy it!